Alright, we're on Highway 95 headed toward the park. As soon as you pass the grub stake, be watching for the sign over here, be on the left hand side. And there you'll see it. Quail Run. Nice entrance. All asphalt, nice and wide. Office is straight ahead, your staging area is straight ahead. So the building to the left, that's the office. You would pull straight up to that stop sign to check in, go in the office and check in. And then uh, the other building off to the left there is the clubhouse. And there we are. Straight ahead into our site. Alright, here we go. I think the ones off the right hand side here are pretty much permanent. Look like they might be year round. You can see another RV park on the other side of that fence over there. The gate ahead of us, I think, takes uh, the riders can go out into the desert, do their ATV in. You can see that the uh, roads are nice and wide, easy to navigate. People off the right, I think, are uh, set here for the season. Nice and wide roads. You got uh, doggy poop bags put around nicely. You can see right up there, straight ahead of us, that's the uh, small dog run. Now this section right here on the right hand side, I think that's where a lot of the overnighters come. Those are 40 foot wide by 70 foot pull throughs, and that's where we are. You'll see us up there ahead. The ones off to the left are back in, so you'll back in to the sites. All right, there we are. All right, let's do a quick walk around our site. So 40 foot wide, I think it is, by 70 foot deep. Small little concrete patio, plenty of room for the truck and car off to the side. There we go. Septic. 30, 50 amp power water and let me tell you what fantastic water pressure getting a great shower while we're here we're in site 167 there you go it's a great site 5g uh, on our verizon out here by the way And there you'll see the back of the clubhouse and the back of the office, laundry room and showers over there. Got a little barbecue sitting outside. Well, they have a clubhouse right here, but it was all locked up during our visit, so I'm not sure if they were going to be locked up for the season now that it's summer. I can't imagine they have people that stay here all year round. So maybe they're remodeling. I see they have... Uh, a bunch of plastic on the windows. Maybe they're going to paint. Look at the look at the uh, roof line right there. Maybe they're going to paint. Maybe they're doing some remodeling inside. All right, let's go check out the laundry here. Hang on here. All right, here we go. Here's the laundry. So. One, two, three, four, five dryers. Looks like it's two dollars to dry. One dryer out of order. And five washers. And it's two dollars to wash. Look like really nice clean machines. That's nice. Folding table, ironing board, and an iron. 
and a change machine and a couple of TVs. There you go. And this window will go right over to the office. A few chairs to sit at. Nice and clean. Very nice. To exit, turn the knob. There we go, we're free. Let's go check out the men's restroom. All right, gotta be a light here somewhere. Kinda dark. There we go, look at that. Nice tile, nicely painted. Couple of sinks right there, howdy. There we go, we got three stalls, one handicap stall. You have two regular showers. Look at that, very clean, very clean showers. Looks like you pay for it. 25 cents for two minutes, a dollar for eight minutes, up to 15 quarters, that's all right. And then the handicap stall. Yeah, lots of room. Same thing, pay. But look at that. Well painted, nice tile work. The floors are spotless. Some paintings and sayings on the wall. Look at that. Believe yourself. Sing, dance, love. Yeah, you gotta like this. That's very nice. To exit, turn this knob. All right, we're out of here. And look at the courtyard. Look at that. I mean, the rocks. Freshly raked, very nice. Looks like you can play some cornhole if you want to. Might be some fire rings out there. And then, well, I don't know what these are called. You got the balls on the string, and you throw it toward these things here. And I don't know what you call that game, but you can play that right now. And again, look at this gravel here. I'm almost afraid to even walk on the gravel. It's so nice and neat and tidy. Crazy, very nice. Notice again how big, nice, and wide the roads are. All pull through sites right there. Not as long as where we are, the pull through sites. So going this direction gets us closer to the highway, Highway 95 up there. Now these ones are going to be up here to the left. Those are, that's a big area. You get out in that gravel, pull through. You can take any length of rig there, no doubt about it. A couple trees, but not much shade at all. But you're in Arizona. What do you expect for shade? Now this is the entry road right here. This section over here is all pull throughs as well. And there's some back ends right there. I think that comfort camp right there is uh, part of the work, work crew that uh, stay here. Easy park to navigate. Big gravel area over there. I'm not sure what they ever use it for, but I guess you could pull in and stage there. Now there are some dump sites across the street. I'm not sure who owns these or what this is. I'm sure it's a standalone business over here. And propane. So I imagine they do propane fills as well right here. Again, I don't think that's part of the park. I think that's a separate entity and there's uh, ice and no doubt water. And there's Highway 95. All right, so after my little walk around, I went home and had a shower and Diane was sitting there reading a book. So I thought I'd come back up here and chat with my new friend during our chat, the clubhouse came up in conversation about the door being locked. He kind of filled me in. He said that the manager's refrigerator went on the blank. So they took all their food, 
they took it over to the refrigerator in the clubhouse and uh, a little bit later they went over and there was some people somebody in the park was over there making sandwiches with the manager's food so they decided that they would just have to lock up the clubhouse till they get the refrigerator fixed and they'd open back up the clubhouse and move their food back over so can you believe that somebody just get in there making sandwiches with food out of the refrigerator i don't know then another thing we were talking about is i thought it was kind of odd to see pay showers at an rv parks but you know he told me what what you no did you hear him he made mention that a lot of people here at the park ride atvs and if you know anything about quartzite there are hundreds of acres of boondocking available outside of town here so a lot of people would be out boondocking they would ride their atvs over here to visit friends and then they would use the shower so at least by charging for showers it uh, was an opportunity for the owners to get back some of the money you know it costs money for either electricity or or uh, gas i'm not sure how they heat their water but that costs money and if they're on a well it costs money to run the pump and if they're on city water uh, you know it costs money for city water so i guess i get why they're charging for showers here and uh what what yeah yeah well he's right um most people with rv ears i know some people we hear some people say we never use a shower in our rv we never use a toilet in our rv but you know i think the majority of RVers do use their own showers so people that come here and ride their atvs probably going to shower in their own rv but yeah if they have people come over here and visit them and take advantage of the showers it makes perfect sense why uh why they charge for showers oh another thing too i think i mentioned I saw plastic on the windows of the clubhouse over there that I thought they were getting ready to paint. Well, I was talking to the guy that works here in the park, and he, in fact, is going to paint the outside of that clubhouse tomorrow if it's not too windy. He just finished up the, uh, the office building a couple of days ago, and he's going to paint the clubhouse tomorrow. So that's why the windows are all plastic up. And, you know, another story he told me, because I mentioned the gravel being so nice and neat around the park. He also made mention that uh, he worked through the winter, and this is a, again, this is a, an area for ATVs. People ride ATVs all over this country. And he said it was not uncommon to have 40, 50 ATVs in the park taken off and ride all day and come back, and they would drag gravel out into the streets. He said, but the owner said, I don't want to see any gravel on the asphalt. So most of his job was uh, walking around the evenings and sweeping up gravel and running the blower, keeping the gravel off the asphalt. And as I walk around the park, this place is just spotless, and it makes perfect sense. I can see him out there now running that blower and sweeping uh, gravel off the road, trying to keep up with 50 ATVers in the park. That'd be crazy. All right, well, I'm going to finish up my conversation here with my newfound friend, then I'm going to call it a night. But, hey, I thought I'd just tell you right now that we really enjoy staying here at Quail Run. Um, when we go boondocking out in the desert here, it's not uncommon for us to go boondock for two weeks. We would get a site here at Quail Run. We would uh, come in and dump our tanks, do some laundry, um, do some cleaning, make some meals, and then uh, head back out to the desert, hang out for a couple more weeks, and then come back in and spend a couple nights here. Uh, for a number of years in, in a row, that's what we would do. So we've stayed here a number of times, and we always enjoy it here. The people are always very friendly. And this time we would have boondocked again, but it's going to be close to 90 degrees. And we just did not feel like boondocking in 90 degree weather, even though, you know, we could certainly do that. But we felt like uh, pampering ourselves and, and stopping here at Quail Run and having hookups. And we're happy we did. We like coming here. It's nice, uh, it's nice and clean, easy in and out, easy pull throughs, and again, friendly staff. So think about it if you ever come through Quartzite, Quail Run. Uh, I think there are like 60 campgrounds in and around Quartzite. So there's plenty of them for, to choose from. But well, run has always been our top choice. All right, that's it. Hey, as always, if you enjoyed this video, how about a thumbs up? Maybe hit that subscribe button, follow along with us. And as always, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. What? Oh, yeah, he said the same thing. See you in the next video. You won't see him in the next video. We'll be somewhere else. But we're going to hash this out. See you later.